Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 1st of May. Showers mainly south and west of Birmingham today, but rain chances slowly increasing around here in coming days. And man, it's cold up north and out west. Let's check some of the Skycam shots. These were captured at mid-afternoon. We'll start with the Coleman Skycam. The sky there is overcast. There's the Haleyville Skycam. Again, uh, mostly cloudy there with a few cumulus clouds. And down south, it is raining at the Port City. That's our sky cam at the Battleship USS Alabama. All right, a couple of features to watch. The upper low around Vicksburg, Mississippi. That's kind of giving us the cloudy, showery weather today in that big cold trough digging down through the uh, western and central U.S. Temperatures today below average. Keep in mind we ought to be in the upper 70s the 1st of May. We're mostly in the low 70s today. Birmingham at 72, and temperatures will slowly trend downward in coming days. And you talk about downward trends. Look at Denver. They've got 30 with snow falling. Uh, that's amazing. And look at the gradient on that front. It's uh, moving down through uh, Missouri and Kansas and Oklahoma. Uh, the cold air nosing down into the Texas panhandle. Thank goodness the core of that's going to stay west of us. Uh, no freeze or frost issues here. That's the uh, 2 o'clock radar composite, as you can see, the uh, bulk of the showers over the southern two-thirds of the state, mostly along and south of U.S. 82. Hey, look at the winter storm warnings up. Parts of Colorado, Wyoming, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Uh, freeze watches down into Texas and Oklahoma and Kansas. Wow. It's the winter that just will not go away. Severe weather potential for the rest of today and tonight. A slight risk over parts of Texas. And again, no risk of severe weather tomorrow. No organized severe storms expected. Just general thunder from the Gulf Coast up into Michigan. And uh, no severe weather is expected here. And that is good news. This is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Monday morning of next week. Heaviest rain over the southern half of the state. Amounts down there three to four inches. Amounts up this way around one inch. And just for the fun of it, this is the projected snow depth Friday morning. Wow, still got snow on the ground in Colorado and Wyoming. And uh, if this is right, places like Kansas City and Des Moines, uh, maybe Minneapolis uh, will see some snow, the heaviest snow, over parts of Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. That's where those winter storm watches are up here in the month of May. All right, you model fans, let's take a look at the GFS, the Global Forecast System. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock local time tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. The upper feature is still there down around the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Uh, big trough digging down across the Plain States. And really tomorrow, a lot like today, it will be cloudy. We'll have the chance of showers statewide. Uh, I don't think it rains all day. The rain probably not all that heavy, but just keep in mind it could rain a little bit every once in a while. And uh, we'll probably see a high in the low 70s, kind of like today because of the lack of sun. Friday, big upper low forms near Tulsa. Uh, down below that, uh, the main rain axis is still a little west of here. Uh, but understand, we could see a shower basically at any time on Friday. Uh, cloudy, a good chance of showers. And uh, the high will be close to 70. Some spots could stay in the 60s all day. Saturday, that uh, upper low is just trucking down Interstate 40. It should be near Little Rock. That's a pretty remarkable pattern. That's kind of setting up a big Rex block across the country. And keep in mind, you know, blocks, it just takes a while to get rid of them. That's what it means. The pattern is blocked up. Uh, down below that, now, uh, this run is a little faster with the big axis of the heavier rain. All right, and I know a lot of things are happening this weekend. Uh, there, there clearly will be a dry slot rotating through the upper low. Uh, and the dry slot Saturday is over Mississippi and Louisiana, nosing into West Alabama at midday Saturday. So really, on, on this run, the GFS is hinting that the, the most widespread rain could be from about midnight Friday night until maybe noon Saturday, with the rain ending over the western part of the state maybe by midday Saturday, and that rain mass moving on to the east. It's race weekend at Talladega. That gives some hope that just maybe the rain pushes out in time to get that uh, Saturday race in. might be delayed, but uh, that's a little more encouraging. 
But clearly, there's going to be a big rain mass. And, of course, Saturday is going to be a very cool day. Uh, the GFS shows a high of 65. Some folks up in the uh, northwestern corner of the state won't get out of the 50s. Goodness. All right, Sunday, the upper low keeps on coming down I-40. It's near Memphis. But down below that, we are in the dry slot. But you know what happens uh, you know, Sunday? We'll probably start the day with sunshine Sunday morning, and then showers begin to form Sunday afternoon with that very cold air aloft. And uh, because of that, some of the showers Sunday afternoon could produce some hail, even with no thunder or no lightning. And it will stay cool. I don't think we get out of the 60s. The most numerous showers uh, probably from Interstate 20 north. So, again, for the Sunday race at Talladega, they'll have to dodge the showers. But at least it's not some kind of a just, you know, all-day rain that sets in. Monday, the upper, oh, it just kind of drops down in here. Hey, uh, the lower heights are basically centered over North Alabama. And if that's the case, Monday we stay unsettled and will maintain a chance of showers. In the same deal, the showers on Monday could produce some hail with no thunder and no lightning. And uh, if this is right, let me tell you what now, uh, if, if this is right, and that's a big if, I don't think we, get, we don't get out of the 50s. Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, the high would probably be 55, 56, or 57. That's uh, about 25 degrees below average for May. Wow. Thought I'd check the uh, European. It's got the upper low a little farther north Monday. It's near Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, and again, we'll just kind of watch the trends in coming days. Tuesday, that thing just slowly moves out of here. We'll still need to mention a chance of showers Tuesday in the backwash. And even Wednesday, evidence <coughs> that you might mention a small chance of a shower. But really, by then, the bulk of the rain should be over. And we start to warm up slowly. A chance we see 70s again by Wednesday. But I really think Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five days in a row, we might fail to reach 70. And that rarely ever happens here in the month of May. We'll check the end of the forecast, May 17th. That looks nice and warm and dry. And again, the encouraging thing, we see no sign of any severe weather issues here over the next couple of weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. <laughs>